Oh my god, I so should not be laughing at this, but I'm sorry. Listen, I've ne I don't think I've ever done a video back to back about the same person, and but I'm going to now because it's relevant. Rose McGowan. I fucking look like Rose McGowan right now. She's got the same fucking haircut as me as everything. She, look, whatever's happened to her, it's completely horrible. She grew up in a cult. She's had a shitty childhood. She's had a shit life in Hollywood. But, you know, she made a lot of fucking money, did some great movies, more than a lot of us will ever do. And, um, you know, she was uh, – something happened with her and Harvey Weinstein. I have to I, – I know something creepy went on there. That guy has raped people and stuff. I'm very – Oh, I'm unsure with this chick exactly what happened, especially hearing the specific details of what happened. I'm more confused than ever, but it's something horrible happened to her. But that does not negate the fact that what happened the other day was fucking hilarious. I'm sorry, we got to call crazy crazy. It started when she was on Stephen Colbert. Remember that shit? She wanted Stephen Colbert acting like an ass. I did, you know, in my last video, I said something about that, but then she topped herself. Holy shit. So she has this book called Brave, right? Where she's brave and everybody's brave and you know, Me Too movement and the power of the Rose Army and that's all well and good. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I just watched a video. Some psycho tranny in the audience at a Barnes & Noble decided to confront, Ro <laughs> to confront Rose McGowan, right? So Mc Rose McGowan is sitting up there with her microphone and her bad lipstick and you know, her fucking... I mean, she can still get Botox. I mean, she still goes there every... She's sane enough to make an appointment to get the filler and all that shit that's... You know, she got the bizarre, like, eyeliner on and shit. She looks like a scary, like, <laughs> cracked out pigeon. I'm sorry. She just does. She's like, she's got the biggest eyes on the planet. I kind of had to do too, but whatever. So she's sitting on fucking uh, stage. I guess she had read part of her book. You know, I am brave. I am woman. Hear me roar. That's not me. Uh, Melissa Milano's a cunt. God bless America. Shit. The Rose Army. And so she's sitting there and then she decides to take, I don't know if she decided to just take questions from the audience or the psycho tranny stood up. I'm going to get out. Don't worry. I'm going to rip that person too. So the psycho tranny gets up and it's like, I want to know why you don't think that trans women are women. Hold on. Let me scratch my balls. <laughs> so why don't you understand that trans women are being held in men's prisons getting fucked up the ass while a guy reaches around while they're getting fucked up their ass and jerks their penis off that dainty female cock <laughs> so this and then says something like um oh so what have you done for us miss mcgowan so rose mcgowan at first you think she's going to handle this like with class and everything and she kind of does she's like but, but she does it with that cadence that she's got now that very like i'm more enlightened than all of you put together type of thing like she's Jesus Christ or something. I expect her to nail herself up on a cross in front of a Holiday Inn. I don't know why a Holiday Inn, but why not at this point? And she goes, what have I done for women? Don't you care? There is a whole network uh, dedicated to our deaths. And I went, okay, pause. What is she talking about? She goes, Discovery ID is dedicated to women's deaths. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, Discovery ID, if you don't know, is Investigation Discovery, you know, an offshoot of the Discovery Channel, which is good shows like I Killed My Husband and I Killed the Babysitter and the Babysitter Killed Me and My Toddler Stabbed Another Toddler. It's all about murder. It's not gender specific to like just – she made it like it was a channel about, you know, how to kill your wife at 5 o'clock. At 6 o'clock, how to dismember your daughter into a thousand pieces. And at 7, we're going to show you fun ways you can decorate the house for Christmas with your daughter's severed body parts that you chopped up from the previous special – fun hang them around the house fucking you know uh glitter on put glitter on them staple them to a neighbor who gives a fuck so <laughs> then, then it just gets like two deranged homeless people fighting <laughs> so the uh the, the psycho tranny starts going you know you you didn't you don't talk badly about us white cis gender privilege white cis gender privilege white just gender privilege and she like I guess she'd been standing up the whole time or he, she'd been standing up the whole time. So Rose McGowan goes, sit down, sit down, sit down. You are so, and then she does like the, like the, like the not giving a finger, but like the Italian way of giving the finger where you just kind of do it with like the middle of your arm and shit, puts a fist up. And so they escort the psycho tranny off. Who's just like screaming white cis privilege, white cis this. And Hey, watch my balls. You're hurting me. And so Rose McGowan, I'm thinking, you know, let's she calm down a little bit. She sits down for a second and she goes, Ugh, you are so boring. You are so boring. You are so boring. And so she keeps going, the he she keeps going, white cisgender privilege, white cisgender privilege. And Rose goes, <laughs> and Rose and her go at it. And it's the fun. watch the video. 
watch the fucking video. The funniest thing ever, she sounds like an 80-year-old <laughs> crackhead you would see standing on the corner of Chicago just talking to themselves after drinking too much and smoking too much crack. She starts going, don't you fucking do that. Don't you fucking put your privilege on me or put a label on me or anybody. Or anybody or play life on anybody. Because if you go put a labels on people, I'll fucking do that. Okay. I'll fucking put your fucking labels on me. Don't you judge me because I have a vagina and I'm white and I'm fucking black or I'm purple or I'm a piece of spaghetti or I'm a master trolley remnant or I'm fucking fecal matter. Don't you do that to me, you fucking do it. Cause I have a vagina. <laughs> if I saw this bitch on the bus saying that shit, everybody would call the police and her ass would be escorted off to Happy Town in a padded cell. What the fuck, something's wrong with the bitch? I don't know if it, I don't even think it's drugs, that's what's scary. I think she's got some manic depressive bipolar shit happening. She hasn't been medicated. Maybe she needs crack. I mean, maybe crack would alter, you know, like kind of even her out or whatever. So then she kind of like retreats back in herself and the audience is all like, you know, oh, Rose, we love you. Don't worry about her. She goes, I'm not worried. <laughs> I'm not worried. I'm mad. I'm fucking mad you all put this on me. I'm mad you put this on me. I have done life for fucking women. You all should be fucking for the planet. I do things for the planet <laughs> and the galaxy and the fucking cosmos and you all should, should all be grateful. <laughs> Where's my shot of vodka? <laughs> I can't with this bitch. It was too funny. I swear to God, I was laughing my dick off. I think it fucking just like fell down into my pants and came back up. But holy shit. She fucking be grateful. And then she says the weirdest shit. Even it gets weirder. I swear this is all the truth. I'm not even making most of this up. I'm embellishing a little bit, but not much. Go watch the video. She goes, I mean, this is wrong when there's, you know, tampon ads. Ads for tampons. And she shows a camera going up a woman's body after she's been gang raped. <laughs> what the fuck tampon ad is that? I have never in my life seen any ad for a feminine, you know, hygiene product ever after, you know, after I got gang raped in the alley, I didn't feel so fresh. All that semen for those random crazed homeless men that attacked me and cut my breasts with razors and then completely just jizzed inside me. I need you to go horseback riding and find a stronger tampon in case that happened again so I could keep all the semen from leaking out and kill like, until I could get the rape detection kit and the swabs done. What the fuck are you watching? What are you watching? Going lovingly up a girl's body like it's a porno. <laughs> like a porno from, you know, tampons. Hey ladies, you want you got a heavy flow day? Some girl, the camera's going up her body all the way up to her tits. She's like soaping her breasts and getting off on it. It's like, yeah, she really does like maxi pads. Ooh, baby, when she gets a maxi pad fetish going on and those menstrual cramps start and she starts spurting out little clots out of her vagina, mm hmm, does she feel sexy? What the fuck is she talking about? What the fuck is she talking about? <laughs> She's crazy. The bitch is crazy. She lost her fucking mind. So it gets even better. I know. Can it possibly get better? Yes, it can. I'll tell you how. Then she go, I, I never really laughed her in my videos, but shit, I can't help it. This is too funny. She put up a tweet going, I'm canceling the rest. I Well, I picture she really was saying it like this. Like, I can't picture the rest of my fucking, my fucking book stops because nobody defended me. No, no uh, Barnes and Noble security defended me. And, and no one in the audience said anything about this. And so they're all complicit. And I will not be going on my book tour reading my horrible heinous book. I swear to God I won't. Fuck you. <laughs> if you need me, I will be on the street arguing with a stop sign. <laughs> I mean, I, maybe I shouldn't be laughing at this. I know, but you know, let me just own it. I'm going to hell already, okay? I'm a horrible, horrible human being. I admit it. You don't have to tell me in the comments. I get it. I know I'm horrible, but shit. We got to call crazy, crazy. She, look at this video. Go watch the video right now. Come back. Tell me if I'm lying. Tell me if she's not off her fucking rocker. And then somebody, they're like, 
her defenders, they're getting to start to be a cult of their own, you know, like the Corey cult and all the other, you know, Tyler Henry cult and shit like that. They're starting to be, well, maybe she sensed, because now it's coming out that the he, she, that was like, I'm sorry, let me, let me just backtrack on trans and all that stuff. Listen, as long as you have a cock and you clearly look like a man, you are a man. I hate to, you know, science is just a fact. It's not anything that you can guess at. It's the truth. And you are a man. Even if you lop off the dick, I will buy that you're a female because you're really gone for it. You've gone through the hormones and shit. But I'm sorry, you will never have a period. You will never have a baby. You are, for all intents and purposes, as much as it must suck for you. And I sympathize with your internal struggle. You're a dude. You're a dude. You're a dude who dresses like a lady. I'm sorry. That's what you are. I'm sorry. I will call you she, I will call you whatever if you want, just out of fucking respect, but you are not a fucking woman. Stop the bullshit. Cut it out. And so, yeah, even if Rose McGowan, and that's what the tranny was mad about, that Rose McGowan had said maybe they weren't the same and the, the plight of women was different than the plight of, you know, men who dress up as women. Yeah, it's different. I'm sorry, it just is. I hate to fucking burst everybody's PC, you know, snowflake bubble, but it's just the truth. And... But for Rose McGowan then to like attack the audience, like they should all just be, hey, 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 how dare you? It's called free speech, bitch. What the fuck are you talking about? You're, you're in a, a setting where you're going to take a Q&A from people. Not all of them are going to agree with you. And maybe this person was a plant from, I don't know, like, you know, uh, uh, Harvey Weinstein. Or I don't know anymore because it's gotten completely crazy. This whole world is nuts now, so I pretty much believe anything. But you're going to have to be able to defend yourself. Let me been up there. I would have let him say whatever he had to say. Be like, listen, are you, are, maybe you just need a better jock strap. Maybe that's why you're mad right now. Maybe you're, you know, your tiny little cock is like shifted to one side and, you know, the wig's a little crooked. I mean, at least if you're going to try to be a girl, shave, motherfucker, shave, because I can see the five o'clock shadow from here. I mean, you can be vicious and mean and right without being <laughs> what the what the fuck was that? Oh my God. She's lost her shit. So yeah, now she's canceled her uh, her crazed book show. And I'm, I'm depressed because I wanted to go now. I wanted to sit in the audience and just pretend I disagree with her so I could trigger her. I, I just wanted to get up there. Um, Rose, I just have a one basic question. Um, What have you done for koala bear rights? Because I don't think you've done anything, huh? Have you? Huh? Have you? And just wait for... Fuck, I invented koala bears. <laughs> I did a long time ago on the planet Jibbity Dub, and I'm the queen there, so fucking have respect. And it's an entire planet made of fucking vaginas, and my vagina is the present. <laughs> In all seriousness, I hope she gets whatever help she needs, because she does need some, she needs not sycophants around her, she needs some intense psychiatric help. I'm not saying she should be locked up or anything like that, but to be serious here, I think she needs a good psychiatrist and I think she needs some medicine because maybe there was always some underlying. I mean, she had a fuck, she's every reason to have a little, you know, something, a little chemical imbalance gone wrong. I mean, born into a, a cult with, you know, weird pedophilic shit going on. The whole, I mean, Marilyn Manson thing was a phase, I'm sure, and it's probably still fucking her up. She probably saw cats being nailed to walls in his house or something like that. She's lived a truly fucked up life and then to be harassed and I'm just saying harassed by Harvey Weinstein because while I believe he's raped people, I'm going back and forth with read her book about what what happened and you will probably get the same, uh, what, I don't know, something went weird, I'm not sure what. I guess my problem is I've always pictured rape as, you know, some guy like throwing a girl down and penetrating fully. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. But she needs help. But I kind of wanted to go on that book tour. I swear to God, I would have paid to just seen it. And no, it's not your responsibility. I mean, everybody else's responsibility to say something. Because until that point, Rose, all that bitch done, it was show how crazy he was. And it was a he. That's it. He showed how nuts he was. Let him show how nuts he is. Let security look like an ass and not get him out in time. Be and you know, I have to kind of defend security though. They didn't know. This person didn't say I'm going to come up there and kill you. That person didn't charge the stage. So they kind of had a right to as annoying as they were, say what they wanted to say. Now, if they hadn't shut the fuck up, it's time to throw them out on their ass. But, oh God, watch the video and maybe you'll understand later. <laughs>